Welcome to Game Biology, where I compare video game creatures with the real-life animals that might have inspired them. I am Pentagram, and let me dissect those virtual creatures for you. Today we come back to our world to cover one of the most emblematic creatures of this game. Let's just dive into it. By looking at this picture, you might think that this should be a geology video. But as we get closer, you might understand why you could not be more wrong. The Rock Mantis is one of our world's most vicious predators. They disguise themselves as rocks to ambush their prey. Experienced adventurers generally spot them pretty easily, but the first encounter of a new player might end up in a slightly bloody manner. They exist in two different forms, Rock Mantis and Mana Mantis, which shows that these creatures adapt their camouflage depending on the place they live in. Their real life inspiration is pretty obvious, the Praying Mantis. Praying mantises are a very large group of animals with around 2,400 species. The largest can reach the already impressive size of 20 centimeters, but it's nothing like the massive mantises of Outward. Praying mantises are known for their gruesome behavior as females eat their partners during reproduction. I have personally dealt with mantises before as they are pretty common in France. I've had the chance to see that mantises are of different color depending on the vegetation surrounding them. I have observed green mantises that hid in tall grass, but also more yellow ones that generally hide in dried grass, especially in the summer. Obviously, because of Outward's mantises' impressive size, disguising themselves as plants would be a pretty bad choice, and that is probably the main reason why they imitate rocks. Mantises are ambush predators that strike very fast, but for that, they need the prey to get close. Considering the size of rock mantises, the rock disguise might have been the only logical option, even if a log might also have been a possibility. Let's end this video on my personal rating of Outward's mantises. The only downside to the mantis design in Outward is probably their eyes. Since they are hidden in their ambush position, rock mantises probably rely on other senses to detect prey, and having eyes this big when you cannot use them is unlikely to be kept by natural selection. Lots of ambush predators generally develop eyes that sit on the top of their heads in an elevated position so they can still use them while being in ambush. That being said, the general design of this monster and their camouflage makes them one of my favorite monsters in this game. 9 out of 10. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video interesting, do not hesitate to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content.